those ones where one's one's longer than the other oh yeah yeah just uh just like my arms all right start it off uh hey everybody and welcome to another episode of the podcast i'm steven rogers i'm andrew chavone welcome panickers uh good good to see you buddy is it it's uh so do you want to lead with where you are yes but first of all can you hear me okay do i sound sound, echoey okay no you sound good okay great yeah this uh my headphones like i said are pretty bad so (laughs) gave me i told you off air yeah i got a free on uh an airplane (laughs) uh sometimes they charge so i'm glad that you didn't uh, get charged for those yeah i got free ones on a flight a month ago and then they're handing them out i'm like can't miss this opportunity <laughs> for, for useless headphones um, uh by yep. the way you might have a, you have a, a mustache uh uh and he- <laughs> someone's God. living in it God. yeah that's food <laughs> not a booger <laughs> at all great i always assumed that the people with mustaches can't have boogers for some reason no, it happens. Yeah, they uh, <laughs> then they don't go away. <laughs> they <They're>, nest. <laughs> they nest. They're they're keepers. Oh. <laughs> that wasn't a booger. That was a keeper. <laughs> <laughs> booger. I ho- hardly know her. <laughs> yeah, <I'm trying. laughs> oh my gosh. Mm. Um, oh yeah. So I was telling you. Oh my god. Yeah, so where I'm at right now is a is what do they call like a comedy condo? Never stayed yes. in one. Oh, this is your first one. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah, it's well, I gotta tell you, from what I can see, it's already better than some of the ones I've been in. Oh, really? Oh, good. Well, let me, so, let me yeah, let me just tell you this. So I I come in. Well, first my plane, like I'm, my plan is uh Thursday land early, you know, don't w- like we talked about no late flights. Cause they always get canceled flying the early ones. My flight was at like six 30 in the morning, but I was like, all right, I'm going to land and then I'll go to sleep. Yeah. It's only an hour and a half flight. So I land and then I find out the condo's not ready until one o'clock. So I literally just hung around the airport. I was literally, I was like a terminal, Tom Hanks. I was living in the airport <laughs> trying to sleep. And of course that didn't work. Oh man. I, uh, I forget about that, uh, that they, co- they always clean the day you're arriving. Yes. But I didn't know you were staying at a condo. I thought you were going to a hotel. No, no I thought condo. I, I didn't know what was going on either, but the, I can't get the key until the comedy club opens and they can't open until one. So I'm like screwed. Oh I didn't know that God. until literally the day of. So, um, and then like I get here, I, there's no Wi-Fi password. Um, and I asked the manager and he's like, oh yeah, there should be a poster. I'm like, there's no poster. Like I have to ask like 12 people to finally get it. It works. I'm like, oh, thank God. So then today, today, Saturday, I do, I walk mm-hmm. around Chicago, get all sweaty. It's super hot. <laughs> I come back. I'm ready to, to, uh, take a nap. I literally have like, you know, two hours before the show. And uh, take off my pants, take off my shirt. Door opens right in front of where. Oh I my am. god! Oh my god! It's some woman. No text, like, "Hey, I'm coming over." No knock. No text. Door just opens. Uh, 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 How do they know you're not like hooking up with somebody or like going or to the bathroom? In my underwear, or yeah. in my underwear, which I am. This like trashy woman goes, oops, I'm sorry, and closes the door. And I, and she's talking me through the door. You were supposed to be out of here today. I'm like, what? I have to no. perform <laughs> perform tonight. And I'm, I'm not going to go back to the airport. <laughs> I, please. Yeah, what, am I, hang up my stuff at Cinnabon. <laughs> what, what do you want me to do here? <laughs> she's like, is your name Shane? And I said, no, it's Andrew. And I noticed there's a like a welcome sign. It says "Welcome Shane," which I <laughs> risk Shane confused. Gillis? I don't know. <laughs> Shane, uh, uh, for some other. Sh- Is there any other famous Shanes? <laughs> uh, Shane Torres. Uh, I don't know. I I mean, Charlie Shane. <laughs> it's a Shane. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
Shane. Do 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 do. Is it any wonder? I'm like, I'm like, hold on, let me put on some pants, and I, I say oh, through the man. door, put on pants and a shirt, open up, and she's like, oh, uh, okay. They told me it was a Shane. I'm sorry about the sign. I'm like, it's okay. They, they said you were leaving today. I'm like, I'm not. I perform tonight. I, my, my name is on the door, like on the comedy club. Yeah, you're on the, the front of the building. I'm on the front of the building, and she goes, all right, well. Uh, yeah, so uh, I guess, you know, well, they got another person coming on Thursday and I'm like, I'm confused. And then I see in her arm, she has the poster that has the Wi-Fi password. I'm like, I need that. And she goes, oh, yeah. I was like, I was looking for that. Yeah. She just hands it to me and she goes, leave the keys on the on the table when you leave. Yeah. <laughs> and she just leaves. No apology for yeah. keeping the Wi-Fi password or seeing me in my underwear. And uh I, I was so mad. I, I couldn't nap. I was so like scared. I was scared somebody else is going to come in and <laughs> see me naked again. You're you're napped fully clothed. <laughs> yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm taking a nap in the kitchen. <laughs> you're gonna take uh, naps like uh, those westerns where they know the bad guys are coming, so they sleep in the chair with the gun. <laughs> my ca- my cowboy hat like slightly down. In the you boots, the straw, the straw, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm literally have a gun in my lap in case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, I hear the, the door rifle. open. Yeah. Like, you shoot. A... <laughs> you come in, I'll pump you full of lead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. It's like Home Alone. You got to play that, <laughs> that, that fake movie. I should have put down some micro machines and marbles for this one. Yeah. She's like, are you snakes? <laughs> snakes? That was the name of the guy that. Uh, oh, oh, the guy in the movie. Snakes. I don't know no snakes. <laughs> oh, oh man. Oh my god. So it's been horrible. I've been sleeping like crap. And and you know it's funny. I have anxiety and sleeping in like a condo that I'm in literally somebody's house, and the and literally somebody came in. Condo so doesn't ever make me feel good. No, uh, with the sleep anxiety. No, give me a, yeah. a, a hotel where I can put a sign on the door and lock and not yeah. feel like I'm intruding. <laughs> there was a comedy club. I won't mention its name. Oh, gosh. That the condo for both the headliner and the feature was a woman's upstairs. Uh huh. And she lived, she was still there. She lived in the house with you. She lived in the house with us. So you'd go upstairs and there'd be a left or a right. I think I went right and the headliner went left. We had our own rooms, (laughs) but downstairs was a woman that lived there and she'd be sitting there watching TV when you came in and when you left. Was was the place shaped like a shoe? (laughs) Was that like a little woman? You have a lot of kids. Yeah, what, she's like, uh, make sure you tie up the door w- w- when you leave. <laughs> the laces. <laughs> oh, oh man. Oh my god. Yeah, what a nightmare. And uh, uh, how are th- uh, what? Oh, how are the shows? You know what's funny is um, it's it's it the, the shows have been packed out. It's been a blast. But what's what's the only uncomfortable part is the host is like super attractive. Oh. He's pretty funny, but he's like super attractive. So when I go on, literally, we I've been struggling for the first minute. I feel like people are mad that he's off. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of women in the audience. I feel you like they're open up- with that. That's hilarious. I tried, and then it didn't get a laugh because people were like agreeing. There, I could feel like the people going like, "Yeah, get this handsome guy back up there." <laughs> <laughs> that upsets me a lot. Well, that that's he's crazy so, that he's so no, good looking. No, that uh, they don't find that hilarious. No, I think I think because they, they I was just, just saying agree. it's so true. They love it. They just so <laughs> they true. They're just they're, I'm like preaching to them. They're like, yeah, yeah. finally, someone <laughs> understands our issues <laughs> looking at you instead of hot guy. <laughs> I was like, it's only going to get worse from here. And that didn't get a laugh either. And I, I was actually yeah, kind of there to see Emma. <laughs> oh, that too. She told me to say that line because oh, I was because okay. I was telling her about um the last the last uh show how how i felt 
how uh, oh, yeah. how, how he struggled at the beginning because he was so handsome. And she's like, we'll talk about it. Say only going to get worse from here. And I did. And that made it worse. But um, but he's actually pretty cool. He knows you. His name's Tommy um, Schneeman. Oh, do you know him? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, I better look him up right now. <laughs> Okay, maybe. Uh, I don't. Or maybe I he mean, knows I, of you. Maybe he knows of you. Yeah, maybe. I I don't know any hot guys. Uh, how do you spell Schmeeman? I don't know. Don't worry about are you, it. Are you sure he's not? Take my word saying, for it. He's he's beautiful. <laughs> are you sure he didn't say Stephen Schmeeman? <laughs> he said Schmeeman. <laughs> oh wait, weren't you tagged in a story with the pictures of them? Yeah, I think that's gone. Oh, okay. D- don't worry about it. Um, no, I got it. I mean, I don't know who this is. Yeah, okay. He's just, he's good looking. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, but the shows him. have been fun. Yeah. That's uh, great. Trying to think of another story about the shows. Uh, By the way, Tommy, I'm sorry. I just, uh, I don't recognize you. <laughs> oh, I don't think listening. he'll listen to this. Yeah. I think he's, he's going to go to the, go to the fashion shows and whatever. <laughs> He's he's got to go do his uh, blue steel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. he's got to hit the uh, runway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I hit it, they run away. <laughs> <laughs> he only listens to the podcast where uh, the, the, I don't know. Just say how attractive you look today. <laughs> they talk about bone structure and stuff. <laughs> oh well, I, I'm definitely not going to be on that one. <laughs> they talk, they talk oh, about man. hair hair products and <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's good. To, let me know when they start doing stuff about leaning, because uh, then I could be on that one. <laughs> <laughs> By yeah. the way, I turned thirty. My my left back hip mm-hmm. is sore for random reasons now. Yeah, well, uh, dude, uh, it's gonna get worse. Hip, back, <laughs> neck, shoulders, neck is and gonna my be crack. the you crack. Yeah, the neck is gonna get the the worst. Yeah. <laughs> You could savor the hip pain because really <laughs> that's not that's not the bad worst that that's like the appetizer. Yeah, yeah, that's just like really neck, neck. Yeah, neck is uh, driving, sleeping, <laughs> sit watching a movie too long. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, hip! Uh, you, you should just do stretches. There's some stretches you can do. I don't know if you looked them up. I'm gonna. I have, and I'm gonna have to. Yeah, you can do a lot of good stretches in the hip uh, hip area. <laughs> We're talking this is the old man pod, but welcome to get off my pod. Uh... <laughs> oh, oh, oh! The other point I met Malls. Malls, a Malls! listener. That's right. I saw her tweet at you. Yeah, she came. She brought her boyfriend or part. She introduced him as a partner. Okay. Uh, he was cool. He loved the show, and and I I like um at the beginning. <laughs> At the first show. So this was on Friday. So she yeah. came to the early show at the beginning. I, I don't know what I did. I think I, I, t- I just riffed about how clean the sidewalks are sure. and, and it just bombed, you know, people were confused. I'm like in New York, I have to play hopscotch on the street because of the dog poop. And That's great. It, they hated it. I think because wow. of the handsome guy, though, I feel like I shouldn't gauge any opening joke because the handsome guy, you should go out there with like a, uh, like a Brad Pitt mask and and then do uh <laughs> do your opening riffs <laughs> just to see if they work. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean it might work, yeah. I could be- I can't believe they're not laughing. Everything you've told me you've opened with so far, I'd be holding my chest. <laughs> that's all funny. Oh, I'll show you the videos. They've been not good. Or maybe it's even me. Maybe I'm I'm in my head about how good look he is. You know, it could be me too, and not him. Possibly. But... I mean, it would be the first time you've ever been in your head. So it... <laughs> <laughs> um, so so after the eight, the first show, I, I talked to her and her partner, uh, forget his name, but he was cool. Mm-hmm. I think it was Robbie, maybe. <laughs> Bobby. Bobby, maybe. <laughs> but um Malls, your your partner's great. He had a beard. Works at Whole Foods. Uh, oh, nice. So, um, I, does he have to wear a net over his beard? I would hope so. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but some. I've seen the net beards. They're not flattering. No, 
It's funny if you wear nets on your legs, that's attractive. But anywhere else, Ever, anywhere else, it looks like you got caught in something. <laughs> else, yeah, it looks like you were swimming in like, like old fisherman waste. Yeah, yeah, you were in a lobster trap. Uh, oh man! So, it, like the first show was was a little weird at the beginning. So I'm like, you should come to the stay for the second one. And they they were like, yeah. And so they, they stayed for the whole second show and that was way better. That's when I did the handsome guy riff and wow. Yeah. And, uh, they went and to I did, both I, shows. I, yeah. And I did like new jokes or different jokes for them. And, and, uh, they loved the second show too. So, um, that's amazing. Yeah. They're cool. Uh, so shout out to malls and, uh, the other guy. Thanks for coming malls and, uh, her partner. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what's going on with you, man? Uh, I just came from Sam Evans' uh, birthday hang. Oh, yeah. Where was it? It was at, uh, tell me uh, how you think this went. It was at a dim sum place in uh, Brooklyn. Okay. And uh, who who do you think didn't uh, fit in there uh, diet-wise? Uh, Ronan? No, me. Wait, what? Why? Dim sum. Oh, I, I don't eat uh, like wet food a lot. <laughs> well, you can get them dry. Well, uh, I got to tell you, they should have given me a beach towel. I uh... <laughs> Maybe they just do. They have a specialty of dim sum there where it's only wet or something, but you can get them dry. They're, I they're had so I got I was able to get my hands on some food that I really liked that I never had before. There was a lot of ball stuff that uh i ate that i mm. really like i don't i didn't know the name of anything that i was eating so it's gonna be yeah. hard to order it again yeah um, that, luckily there's pictures sometimes yeah it's true yeah i feel like a kid i'm i just point Ugh. yeah uh <laughs> white circles i'll have a couple of those and then uh <laughs> white bunny things <laughs> yeah i'll have those um but it's it was good but i i don't like trying food uh in front of people mm -hmm. like for the first time yeah and I of could course see that. uh people don't understand how much you you don't want the spotlight on you when you're a picky eater as soon as i sit down they're like all right what's he gonna eat let's see if he does this oh look at that i bet you he can't handle that and it's the whole the whole meal the whole oh, meal people, is the spotlights on you I'm like, hey, remember how it's Sam's birthday? Let's uh, let's talk about that. It's and like dinner and a show, and you're the exactly. show. You're the, all... the, the night's entertainment. Yeah, I'm in between Jeff Sheen and Shane Torres. They're I'm getting roasted on both ends, I'm like a pig with an apple in its mouth, and uh, which I would eat. And uh, uh, it's dry, you know, it's burned. Then uh, they order a bowl of chicken feet. Oh God! Just to mess with you, or they want that? They ordered it for the table. Table? Oh, how generous! <laughs> Maybe get some uh, cow eye and monkey brains and a snake. <laughs> what do they do? Is this Temple of Doom? Oh, God. <laughs> chicken feet, asps. Very dangerous. Uh, I know that's the first one, but uh, chicken feet. And I'm telling. Have you seen chicken feet? In a serving? No, I've, I've seen them at the grocery store. They're like... They look like hands. Oh, no, I haven't seen that then. They That's look like gross. fingers. And they've got... It's repulsive. They've got the knuckle lines. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It looks like little hands that are just like this. Help me. <laughs> what? Why would you One was that? trying to get out of there because it was like this. <laughs> yeah. Mine, mine didn't, mine didn't care. Mine just did uh, <laughs> two fingers. Yeah, I gave a middle finger to the bowl. Um, <laughs> well, how would they eat that? There's no meat in there, I, I believe. I don't know. Now, I here's... Have, I can't assume. Here's where I found out uh, I may be a bad uh, fiancé. Mm -hmm. Because... Caitlin loves him? No, not oh. that I'm aware of, but she's out of town. And Shane Torres goes, I will give you a hundred dollars and uh ten thousand delta miles if you what? Eat. 
How does he, he have those? He's a headliner. He's touring all the time. He's, he's got, got all extra these- miles. Yeah. My gosh. He goes, I'll give you that if you eat a whole chicken foot. And oh I was like, God. no, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. Well, to and be he, fair, 10,000 miles is like 150 bucks. He goes 20,000 miles. I was like, no. How do you send? Can you send somebody miles? Yeah. What? Oh, my yeah. God. Then he, he gets all the way up to 60,000 miles. <laughs> and hell? I still said no. That's 500 bucks. I know. I couldn't do it. It looked like a human hand. It, well, I mean, it, it I, wouldn't. I, I mean, in my opinion, it wouldn't be worth it. It's not worth it to not. Right. It's not to worth not be it. able to sleep. It could affect you. It could ruin your whole day or week. I would have I would have thrown up for sure. Yeah. I mean, you can't even eat like mayonnaise. So <laughs> I don't know. Why would yeah. you eat chicken feet? It's a big leap. I, can, I wouldn't even eat chicken feet and I eat you know, barbecue sauce and stuff you don't eat. <laughs> I, I don't know why I pictured you with a bowl of barbecue sauce. <laughs> mm. it. Mm. <laughs> Compliments to the chef. Uh, you ever see but, the, the Sopranos when they're like snowed in and they find ketchup oh, packets in the car? That's the funniest episode. Let me get some of those. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> that guy's dead. Uh, Tony was an interior decorator. <laughs> Oh, there's Benny. Uh oh. Only going to cause some sort of issue. Uh, and you're going to see his nuts in two seconds. There, there you go. Uh, three episodes in a row now. Oh my gosh. One for each nut he has. Oh, man. He's got some extra ones in there. <laughs> That's nuts. <laughs> uh, but it was so much anxiety. Uh, just. The entire table watching me eat and uh, just observing me and and asking me what I thought of things. I'm like, I just want to eat. No one is talking to anyone else about what they're eating. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't. I don't know. I, I mean, that's not even that entertaining to me. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> it's... Oh, it's fascinating to, to everyone else. <laughs> Why? It's crazy. Why? I've it's been like this my whole life. Just people observing me as I eat. People need to get like TiVo or something. I don't. <laughs> You know, like no, they're more temple I, run. They're more obsessed with in my teeth, teeth those, <laughs> teeth those. How long was this dinner? How long did this torture last? Uh, it was a few hours. Uh, oh, the great. whole experience. <laughs> Our train ride there, a uh, couple hours there. Our ride back. It was rough. Oh my gosh. Uh. But uh, yeah, why that? Why that place? Sam Sam lives in um, Astoria. Yeah, uh, Alon. Uh, do you know Alon? He picked uh, the Altman uh, or the other Gold. Yes. Oh yeah, he uh, he picked the uh, restaurant, and it was farthest from everyone. <laughs> <laughs> if he lives in the Lower East Side, <laughs> yeah. Jeff Sheen was complaining about how far it was. Uh, we were all like. This is so far. All right. Hey. Oh, God. Oh, geez. Yeah. He just, saw again. Ch- he just saw a chicken foot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But yeah. Anxiety inducing. What, what? The food? Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, I, I just don't get it. I don't get I, it's I, an entertainment for everyone else. It's I crazy. don't, but you don't even eating it. So I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Why is this the theory of you enter eating? I don't. I know, guess the, but... the the miles raising is would be like, oh wow, yeah, sixty thousand, sixty thousand. He's like, that's a a flight there and back for both of you. Yeah, that'd be your honeymoon flights. And then he no, texts... wouldn't. That, that's that's a, that was my flight to Chicago was sixty thousand miles. Oh really? Yeah, it's it's not two thousand nineteen anymore. It's like they, they are expensive. Uh, yeah, but, uh, I couldn't do it. Yeah. It's okay, man. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you'll get, you'll get 60,000 miles, uh, you know, th- this year somehow. Yeah, I know. I, I get it from flying. <laughs> yeah. You, you'll get more miles. You don't yeah. have to eat chicken feet and like get an episode of jackass. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'd rather be stung by bees on my crotch. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather be on a motorcycle and, and go off a ramp or whatever. Yeah. Have a buried salmon off my knee. <laughs> it was crazy. That episode. <laughs> was that episode? That, the latest movie. Uh, oh, they put salmon in the guy's lap and lit a bear in the room. Oh, so gross. Uh, who cares? Oh my gosh. Um, I thought I had something else. Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, oh, well, this is, um, oh yeah, this is something from, from the, from this weekend too. There was, uh, okay. there, you know, you know, you get on like up top, you just riff. There was a person with a, uh, man bun and i was like hey oh, check okay. it out man bun <laughs> you know and then i got a dm the next day that said uh you misgendered me i'm very offended and oh i was like no <laughs> i was like i'm sorry it was dark and i don't <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> they like tore me apart oh man i know it frazzled me for the for the for the shows last night too did they understand that what you told them about the lighting? Like we don't know. They didn't even lot. respond to that. It was just mm. angry, like a flick off emoji. And Oh man, they were so mad or the, I don't know what they didn't even identify their gender. Right. <laughs> I don't know what gender they are. It could be a, they, them, or he, she, her, or well, whatever. I, you know. No matter what, it sounds like a lot of people don't like. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm bombing all over the place here. And plus uh, the bun. I was talking to the bun. <laughs> the bun could email me. <laughs> I, thought, I don't know. I'm a they bun. <laughs> bun. Oh God, it's horrible. It's horrible. Oh man. Well, I I it stinks because it doesn't misgendering is is an honest mistake. And uh you you know, it's not like you uh were poking fun of someone that identifies a certain way. No, I didn't even talk about that. Yeah, it was like, and I think I also said, um, "Look at this guy, man bun." So mm -hmm. I might have said guy, or I did say guy. So, but it was really dark, man. <laughs> I don't know. And right. I said like, I tried to explain like when I get up there for the first time, my mind's going a million miles a minute, so it's hard. Yeah. I can't even like I I can't even like focus on people. I'm just seeing like the anxiety and, and adrenaline rush from getting on stage for the first time. Yeah. Cause you're adjusting to, okay, the lights are over here. The, yeah. I can see this many people. Uh, okay. The edge of the stage is here. Uh, what's my first joke. Okay. Right, where's the right. stool? Where's the yes. mic stand? Where's my water? It's a lot of things all at once. Cause we yes. don't do, we don't do sound checks for comedy clubs. I, th I don't no, know. If people no, know that. And that was Thursday. That was the first show of the week. So that was uh, literally the first time I'm on stage at, at the comedy club. See a man bun. I'm like, easy man bun. <laughs> this one, this won't lead to <laughs> this anything. This will blow up tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> so, and at least I apologized and they didn't say anything. At least, yeah. you know, like, and I said, it won't happen again. And it didn't because I was all frazzled on Friday. <laughs> you won't gender anyone for the rest of your life. <laughs> no, and then there was a person at the front uh, with next to a woman and I go, hey, you guys going out? They're like, no, we're friends. And I'm like, oh, I can't even talk about friend zone because I don't know what the hell is going on here. <laughs> you got to go on stage and be like, hello, people of Earth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, man. I'm sorry about that, buddy. That's it's okay. I mean, it really, it seriously ruined my whole morning yesterday. And now like at least the walking in me naked is now the new thing I'm upset about. So <laughs> they, whoever they were, uh, they sent, uh, that lady. Yeah. <laughs> me. Yeah. They, they, uh, hacked the mainframe and changed the schedule. <laughs> they were like, Shane, we'll get this. <laughs> Let's get him. He should feel some shame. I'll just change, <laughs> change one letter. Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, it's uh, and it's never happened. I never misgendered somebody in my whole run of my whole life. Right. You know? So it's the, you know, boom. That's the, I mean, it is an adjustment period. Yeah, I mean, it is. Yeah. And 
Yeah, I'm never the type of person that would make fun of someone's identity, and I would never like drag, you know, no, make fun of somebody's struggle. But you know, when you're just trying to just riff off the audience, machine gun style, it's really yeah. hard. Uh, to, we have to, we have listeners that have transitioned or have different gender. Yes, you know. Johnny and Ronnie, yeah. or not Ronnie, but, R- but yeah. Ronnie's son, Johnny, Johnny, and uh, and I'm sure we have people that identify certain ways that we may have even gotten wrong on here and not know about it's that's, that's true the thing yeah. with it it's it's and i get and different. i and i understand more of uh um uh, like running into somebody in the mall or something but like mm-hmm. comedy club showroom it's tough i mean give me i gotta yeah. get some leeway here <laughs> i don't know yeah oh. i can't even tell if people are smiling let I alone can't, no well most of them were frowning i, I could tell that but <laughs> even the man bun <laughs> man bun really yeah <laughs> the man bun was toasted <laughs> Burnt. Burnt. <laughs> yeah. It was smoking. Oh, man. Uh, the bun. Yeah, I have. Did you uh, hear my joke? Wait, what'd you say? You said, oh, man. And I said, bun. <laughs> I'm glad you said it again. I did not hear that. I know. Um, I just said, oh, man, again. Um, so, uh, yeah, I know someone that transitioned. And when they did. I, uh, I was like, Hey, I support everything that you're doing. I'm so happy for you that you're, you know, going to get this thing done that you've been wanting to do. Uh, just a heads up. I'm probably going to make mistakes, uh, addressing you. And, uh, I apologize and and just let me know so I can make those, uh, adjustments, but Mm -hmm. you can't do that. (laughs) It full to a room full of strangers. No. Well, (laughs) if the person said like, Hey, I'm not a man bun. I'm a whatever. Right. I, I would be like, I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah. But they just, they didn't say anything until the next yeah. day. <laughs> that means they sat through your whole set. Upset. And I felt that's it. what made me feel bad. I'm like, maybe I ruined uh, the night for them, but right. Whatever. I, uh, and they, you know, they went out, wanted to let their hair down. Uh, <laughs> not literally. <laughs> Wave the hair back and forth. Wave the hair back and forth. Uh, well so that's that's, uh, that's rough yeah so what else are you going on with you well how's the wedding planning and uh did, <laughs> did i i tell you that uh we went looked at venues you told me you were doing it but i don't know what you did we looked at venues uh we're uh you know figuring things out and uh we uh we're not going to do cake We've decided no cake. Okay. Uh, donuts instead. Oh, wow. And we think that uh, is uh, probably cheaper also. But we have a decent size uh, budget that we're pretty proud of considering we just do comedy. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, and- nothing about the cake. The cake is a... Uh, it- you know, every the, the cake is yeah. All I get is the slice anyway. So yes. I don't. Yeah, but now don't, you get a whole donut. Yeah, I don't get like the whole cake on my table, and I eat right. it. You know, I just get like a slice, and it doesn't look like a cake. It looks and like I've, a slice. I've never eaten a leftover slice of cake once. <laughs> I I <laughs> I'll never eat leftover cake. Like when okay, because we'll get the leftovers. Oh oh, you're saying oh for for the whole wedding? Yeah yeah. Some people freeze it and like eat it like in the future or something <laughs> that's what i think my cousin did it's stored next to walt disney's head yeah they have to get like a deep freezer and for no reason at all well, well you know it's a tradition well, because sugar used to be so hard to make before like machines so you can only eat sugar on your birthday and your wedding so that's why you have birthday cake and wedding cake it's because whoa. sugar was so rare and uh like such a special thing so that's why i didn't that, know that that's why there's that those two cakes are like associated with those two events because man because cake is all sugar that's amazing fact you just gave me yeah people just ate pies and like whatever fruit or something <laughs> it was like a sad existence but i think I'd probably their teeth were probably better yeah that's for sure uh but we're gonna eliminate some of the things we don't care quite so much about like the cake that kind of stuff uh not for 
money just because it's less stress to have to go get these things. Oh yeah. Uh, so we, we, and that's saving us money. Some of the thing, getting rid of, rid of some of the things, but we went to a venue and we look at the venue and it's really great. And oh, we're, wow. looking, we're looking at each other like, Hey, there we go. And I'm like, yeah, I could see, uh, all the comedians. I like pictured everyone. I wanted to be there. I could see it. <laughs> and I was like, Oh, this is fun. And, uh, we tell the lady we can afford the venue. So we're like excited. And then Caitlin says our overall budget to the woman. And she's very bougie. This woman. Oh God. Yeah. I think the, they all have to be. I think so. They, and they have to upsell you. So she's uh, showing us all these things and all that. And uh, we tell her our overall budget. And she goes impossible. And we're yes. like, what? She's like, there's no way you'll make a, you'll have a wedding for that much money. Okay. And I was like, what? And she's like, yeah, weddings cost like $70,000 now. And I'm like, where are you going? Uh, right. There's where no is way. This, where is this venue? Is it in, in the city or, or yeah, upstate? Long Island City. Oh, it's Long Island City. Okay. Yeah. And the venue costs uh, 10. The venue uh, costs 10? Yeah. That's great. And I was like, this is perfect. I was all excited. And she's like, yeah, no. <laughs> it'll cost you uh, 80, 75 to 80,000 altogether. But you had the venue. What the, like, the, the venue why does she ten, care about the rest? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Uh, we still may do it there, but it was like a very discouraging <laughs> moment for us. We looked at each other and we're like, oh, God. That doesn't make uh, sense, though. I, that's, what the, I, that's how I feel. Does she have vendors that she needs to use for things? No, not that particular one. But there's one that I love and she loves uh that's so close to all of us and uh it's in long island city oh but wow you have, to, you have to go through their caterers so okay. they get they get you on these things it's uh they get you they get you jerry but it's ten thousand wasn't as much as i thought it would be i thought that's, like the minimum was felt. 50 grand for some reason i thought like i know i thought every venue was going to be in, insane and then stuff on top of it but the venues were decently priced i mean i like guess it's still outrageous sense. for one night ten thousand yeah. dollars now that yeah. i think about it i'm just yeah at a perspective wise i'm like because you said 70 and then you said 10 i'm like oh 10 pretty good but actually 10 yeah, is pretty might be a lot too yeah <laughs> like yeah it's uh so we're figuring it out we're um you could have a zoom wedding i mean i'm not against it I'm I'm not <laughs> it'd be perfect you'll love it you don't have to wear pants uh, oh, no. i know i could be in this condo again I wouldn't have the Wi-Fi though. I'll have to call in on my phone. Oh man. Uh bun. Uh <laughs> bun. now every time I say oh man, I'm gonna think man bun. Yeah. Uh if but... you're eating a burger too. <laughs> bun man. Bun man. Uh, you're the bun man. <laughs> I'm the bun man. Uh what else is happening? So did, she's, you, did you narrow it down? Or are you still going to look at it's places? It's narrowed down. We, I think we may look at a couple more, but there's one that we love that uh, I really would like to have uh, okay. be our venue. And that's in the Long, Long Island City. It's in view of that big sign. Uh, oh, the um, there's a couple signs. The Coca-Cola one or the Pepsi-Cola? No, the other the one. Silver Cup? Silver Cup. Oh, man. It's near Silver Cup. You got to watch Highlander then. Highlander, they fight on top of that sign. Really? Yeah. I think because it was the studio that they filmed the movie in or something. But the final battle, they fight on that sign. I've never seen Highlander. Yeah, I saw it for the first time. It's okay. Sean Connery's in it. Yeah, he's the only guy that's not Scottish in it, right? I don't know. He does some kind of accent. I don't There's know what some... he is. Oh, There's I think some... he's supposed to be like Spanish. He's Spanish. There's yeah. Some... How did you know that? There's somebody's bit where they're like, how come the one movie <laughs> where everyone's Scottish, Sean Connery plays a Spaniard? <laughs> Is Sean Connery alive? I don't think so, but I don't know. I, think I, I, I doubt it. I know he retired from acting. Yeah. Like, after, um, after that uh, Avengers ripoff movie where instead of 
a set of superheroes. They're like literary characters. Oh, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Yeah. And he after that, he's like, I'm I'm out. <laughs> so dumb. It was such a rip off of the Enchers, but they could use people with with that had no um, copyright. So. Yeah, they're like, all right, we'll put Mr. Hyde in here, and uh, yeah, Mr. Hyde Man. was the Hulk. Yeah, yeah, the Invisible Man. Then they had Dorian Gray. Yeah, which I'd... I never knew that story. He had no powers anyway. All he could yeah, do was, he was not a... age. Yeah, he was immortal, so he couldn't die. I guess. No, and I then... think he could. Or maybe I, I don't know. He I only died when he saw his own painting. I, who knows? But Sean Connery didn't have anything powerful either. He just like was super old and, and had a gun. And there was Captain Nemo. And then yeah, there was the he had no powers either. Vampire Lady. <laughs> it was such a weird. And the villain ended up being Moriarty. For oh yeah, uh, yeah, the Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock. Yeah. No, no, they they had no. They were supposed to be the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, but they weren't really extraordinary. I mean, I guess they're or lies. Gentlemen. <laughs> they're li- yeah, or gentlemen, yeah. They're, they're quite rude. rude, yeah. Their lies, I guess. Their life stories were interesting. Oh, and Huckle Huckleberry Finn was in there. He was, or Tom Sawyer. <laughs> what is he doing? He <laughs> he just fishes in the book. I'm glad they didn't have any of his friends. I know. And I'm glad he didn't talk, talk about them. Talk about them. <laughs> I got this one friend. Oh my God. That is not gentleman. <laughs> no, he's not a gentleman at all. That he's was okay. extraordinary that he said it, but <laughs> I think he does make like the bad guy. He tricks the bad guys into like painting a fence or something. I mean, I, maybe I'm getting my books confused. In the movie? In the movie, I think he like uses his trickster powers or something. <laughs> like trickster I powers. Tell you, I remember watching that movie <laughs> and uh, liking Mr. Hyde because I was a kid and I liked the Hulk aspect of it. Yeah, that's but, all it was. Uh, as you're describing it to me right now, it sounds awful. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I like. I mean, I got to rewatch it because I don't yeah. really understand the point of the movie now that you I'm gotta about come it. over and we'll watch it <laughs> i'd love to watch this with you <laughs> all right, all right. We'll, we have the technology I think. we have the technology we'll have joe over <laughs> oh my god yeah he would love that movie he would uh, love that movie he would love destroying it uh yeah it, oh, it doesn't man. make any sense joe doesn't like those superhero movies though but he doesn't like he... any sci-fi superhero stuff yeah, but maybe he would like uh, that movie. Just the fact that it's Sean Connery's last movie. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I know he likes making fun of movies, so I think this will work. <laughs> yeah, we'll pitch it to him. Oh, man. We should have him come over and, and uh, put it in and not tell him what we're about to watch and just watch him slowly. <laughs> well, sometimes, we remember we tried to make him watch like old Comedy Central stuff, and he, he walked out of the, he oh, walked yeah. out of the apartment. Yeah, <laughs> so he he might just leave. We have to prep him. That's true. That's funny. Oh man, uh, I thought there was something else. Damn, I don't remember. There was something. Crap. Well, what's crazy is you're going to be in Iowa with Joe in August, and I'm going to be there the week, the week before. before. And then, like, I should feel like I should leave a message for you guys or something because it's going to be like a four day difference. You should. Yeah, I'll, I'll see what the place is like. How was it when you went last year? Was I it like fun? The, I like the club. Okay. So it's, it's kind of like Omaha, Funny Bone? Yeah. The layout is very much like a Funny Bone. The staff is nice. Um, thank God you're there with Emma because I don't know what there is to do. Uh, <laughs> So you can hang out with Emma. Do you hang out with Emma during the day? No, we usually do our own thing and we hang out at we hang out like an hour before the show. Okay. Well, there you go. But I usually sleep and and or not sleep, but lay in bed <laughs> and have people walk in on me anyway during the day. Perfect place for it. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what's cool about Zanies is like it's in the city. Like the yeah. funny bones are all like somewhere else. So like suburbs. I'm, I'm able to walk to restaurants and and stuff and 
Yeah, you're in a good spot. Uh, in uh, Des Moines, it won't be uh, as uh, walkable. And they have a guest book in this condo. And Caitlin is like one of the most recent entries. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't know when she was here. Oh, it, it, it has a date. Yeah, it yeah, was like yeah. June. <laughs> I wonder uh, who the most famous... How old does it go back? 2018. Wow. The first entry is Drew Dunn, and he writes like... I know Drew. Yeah, he. Uh, me too. Yeah, he just wrote, hey, I guess I'm the first one. <laughs> Over and done. <laughs> Been there, done that. Oh, you should have. That's a perfect one. Been here, done that. And he spells it like his last name. Yeah. Oh, uh, he dropped. He dropped the, the, the done. <laughs> who, who done it? Who done it? <laughs> Dunstan checks in. Oh, you know what? Oh, he would he would be great on Dragnet. Drew Dun 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 Dun. Oh, or a uh, James Bond movie. Dun 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 And uh, Mission Impossible. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. I just forgot that one. When that movie came out in, in the 90s, my brother bought, we went to our first uh, tapes, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> I love him went to the store. I love the hand gesture you tried to do. <laughs> Shape like this. Looked like a chicken foot for a second. <laughs> but we went to the store and he bought the Mission Impossible tape and I bought the Jurassic Park tape. And, oh, uh, and we had our own boom boxes in our rooms and <laughs> he would just play that song. And I would just play the Jurassic Park. Song. Those two <laughs> playing at the same time must have been awful. <laughs> also, <laughs> I don't know any of either one of their music other than their theme song. That's all. I think me and him, that's all we listened to. We'd play it and we then just go, kept rewind it. We go. Da -na -na -na. <laughs> and then he his room would be like dun 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 <laughs> oh man it's funny his tape is a lot like that scene in mission impossible where it would come down and then go right back <laughs> Yeah, it, it was like a like kind of like a uh, theme park house where you know dinosaur themed in one. Oh, going to your pe parents' bedroom is the Terminator theme. <laughs> dun 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 dun. <laughs> dun 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 dun. The basement was uh, <laughs> the basement be on. Pirates of the Caribbean. Because <laughs> the washing machine leaked. <laughs> uh, it was like a cave in the basement. <laughs> oh man oh man i uh okay yeah we got to wrap up here oh yeah so, you got some shows you're gonna uh you're gonna i gotta come oh. in i'm gonna immediately complain i'm gonna throw this woman all under the bus for really for not for, for, <laughs> for invasion by privacy oh yes oh, that's sorry i thought you were talking about the gender person <laughs> oh no i no no that's why no, I was confused. The, the cleaning woman. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta you gotta tell her. Uh she wasn't in the guest book. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm in the guest book. She was like, Andrew, she, she showed me her phone. Andrew uh checks out Friday, uh, th Thursday to Saturday. I'm like, today's oh, Saturday. A, today's Saturday, yeah. What is going on? I'm leaving tomorrow. <laughs> I have to stay somewhere. I'm working Saturday. <laughs> Man. Well, uh, best of luck. And uh, uh, you too. What are you doing tonight? Uh, meeting up with uh, Sam for uh, some birthday drink thing for him. Oh, it's going to continue? Yeah. Uh, he's uh, hanging out with some lady. So we, uh, I, we get a little break. Um, 
So it's dim sum. He hangs out with a lady, and then, then he, he then he gets gets some. <laughs> dim sum gets some. <laughs> Drink some. <laughs> oh man. Well, uh... <laughs> I was trying to think of a way to throw in chicken feet, but it's all gross. Oh God! I hope nothing in there looks like chicken feet. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh. Good seeing you, buddy. Uh, <laughs> your eyes got wide. <laughs> uh, thank you, everybody, for listening, and uh, stay tuned for the music. Stay tuned. Okay, let me. Uh, oh, stop this. <laughs>